Hey guys, and thanks for stopping by Mother's Barbecue. This week I got a little special gift in the mail, a little unexpected gift from one of my vendors at uh, SHI.com, which is an IT uh, vendor that we use at work. Um, she was telling me about this uh, Jack Stack barbecue company, so she sent me over uh, a couple of their, well actually three of their sauces and rubs, and I thought it'd be a good, uh, good opportunity to give this a video review. Uh, Jack Stack Barbecue is located in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, I believe. Um, you can check out their website, jackstack.com. Uh, so today we're going to be doing some uh, baby back ribs on the Weber, and we're going to be using their uh, Kansas City original barbecue sauce. <laughs> All right, so here's our baby back ribs. They've been trimmed, washed, and uh, the membranes removed. After opening up the rubs, I went ahead and chose the, uh, the meat and poultry one because I liked the, it had the saltiness and the sweetness. The other ones were really good. The steak rub, really awesome. I, I can see that going on some, some nice rib eyes. Um, a good amount of salt, some heat. You get a little bit of sweetness in that one, but this one had a little bit more sweetness that I do like, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try. These ribs are just plain, no uh, mustard or oil on them. I, I want to get the full flavor. I'm going to do this one in this rub, and just as a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm going to throw my own rub on the other one. So here's what's left of my, uh, my little special rub that I have. And this one's just a little bit of salt, mostly uh, different sugars, chilies, and stuff like that. And I got the Weber heating up. I'm gonna keep it around 250. A little bit of apple wood. And let's get these guys going. Okay, so Weber's uh, heated up. Again, just uh, some unlit charcoal, about 15 lit charcoals on there. Got a little nice piece of uh, apple wood that I'm gonna go ahead and get that on. So we'll give that a uh, I don't know, two, three hours, and keep the temp around 250, and we'll check on them a little bit. All right, so our ribs have uh, been on for about three hours. Um, temp's been steady, 250, pretty good. Uh, sprayed them with some apple juice every so often. Go ahead and get these off. We'll get them foiled. You can already tell the Jack Stacks uh, rub really nice color to it. Alright, so it's been about an hour. We're going to go ahead and get these ribs unfold, foiled and back on, start coating. So here we have the, uh, the Jack Stacks uh, ribs going. Got that nice bend. All right, so here's our finished product. This one right here with the bend in it, it's uh, the spicy. This is, uh, let's see if I can find the bones. Take a look at those, nice and moist. Real good smoke ring on that. Let's go ahead and get these cut up and start macking. So here's our little taste team in, uh, in place. Let's go ahead and uh, see what they say. Well, I guess there you have it. So I think this one's a winner. It's a really good sauce. Um, definitely different Kansas City style. You guys give it a try. Go to jackstack.com, order it up, and uh, let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching. Fall off the bone.